What's up fellow drivers? So today we're going to continue the discussion on wheels. If you haven't already watched my video called Are Bigger Wheels Better? Click up here or check out the description below. You'll find a link there as well. So last time I talked about whether or not bigger wheels were better based on performance. So like getting better lap times at a track. Today I want to continue the discussion about wheels, but look at it from a comfort or luxury point of view, as well as practicality. So over here we have my GTR, and it is definitely a pure performance vehicle. And it has these massive 20 inch wheels with a really thin sidewall. They're fitting huge brakes inside there. This is excellent for grip, stopping power, uh, high speed without uh, too much sidewall flexing and that kind of thing. But, uh, maybe we're not interested in that. Maybe we want to get better fuel economy. We want a soft ride. So over on the other side, we have the complete opposite. So here we have, for the size of the vehicle, a pretty small wheel. It's a 15 inch wheel. And we have these really fat, high sidewall tires. So, why would these be good? The biggest advantage to having smaller wheels is that you can have a higher sidewall, and this allows for a softer ride. So generally, when we think about ride quality, we're always talking about suspension. So people want to either firm up their suspension for better performance and a sportier feel, or they want a really soft, cushy suspension so they don't feel all the bumps in the road. But we tend to forget the fact that a lot of those bumps and potholes and things like that are absorbed by the tire itself. So the more room for flex you have in here with the sidewall, the softer your ride will be. This is because if you have more flex in the tire, you have less suspension travel that needs to be done to compensate for those bumps. The other advantage to having a smaller wheel is actually protecting the wheel itself. So over here with this 20 inch wheel and low profile tire, if I hit a bad pothole, there's a good chance that I could have a blowout or even damage the wheel itself. Now over here on this 15 inch wheel with high sidewall, it's going to be nearly impossible to damage the wheel due to road conditions. And I can actually personally attest to this and maybe some of my longtime viewers can as well because uh, I hit a pothole with the MR2 once with its larger 17 inch wheels and I had to buy a new wheel. Another big thing to consider if you're looking for something practical is price. These are going to be way more expensive than these. These tires are going to be a fraction of the cost if I have to buy new tires. So in the first video we talked about the different dimensions of the wheels and the way they're measured. So another advantage of smaller wheels are that they're usually narrower too, which gives a narrower tire. So that means that you're going to have less rolling resistance and you'll get better fuel economy. If you look at any of the cars that are really prioritizing fuel economy, like the Prius, you will always see really narrow tires. Now, part of that is to keep costs down so it's an affordable car, but it's also to reach a better MPG. If you look at this tire on the GTR, it is so wide, I can't even get it all to fit uh, outside the fender to show you. So it's gonna have way more rolling resistance and also be heavier, which will give worse MPG. But clearly, I mean, fuel economy isn't really a concern on this car. So if you're looking for a nice luxurious ride, another advantage to smaller wheels or narrower wheels is less road noise. Now, a lot of this does have to do with the actual tread pattern of the tire, but generally speaking, a narrower wheel and tire is going to be quieter and you won't hear as much of it running on the highway. Lastly, if we're talking about wheels that are uh, wheels that you've bought that you're changing the sizes and they're not the original OEM ones, you're just not gonna run into problems with alignment and sizing and that kind of thing. So, you know, if you stick with the original wheels instead of upgrading to a bigger wheel, you're not gonna have to worry about affecting your speedometer, which can change if your overall diameter gets bigger. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about any rubbing or uh, camber adjustments that are gonna cause it to prematurely wear. Some obvious disadvantages to a smaller wheel is smaller brakes. Now, this particular wheel design doesn't really allow me to uh, see the brakes all that well, but it should be pretty obvious that these brakes on the GTR are way bigger. 
you have way more stopping power. I mean, these are massive rotors and uh, calipers that are just filling up this 20 inch wheel. These are probably as big as the entire wheel over there. The other disadvantage to a smaller wheel is sloppier steering feel or less grip because generally you're not going to be able to get as high performance of a tire or high speed rating, uh, you know, low tread wear, high grip kind of thing on a high sidewall tire that you would fit on most small wheels. So if you are looking for performance, you're not going to get it if you have a small wheel. Now, uh, the exception to that is uh, drag wheels. So a lot of times you'll see a higher sidewall if you're looking at an actual drag tire that isn't street legal. Because uh, when they launch, you can get a little bit better grip uh, because you have a little bit of the give and flex so you don't just spin your tires. But otherwise, you know, if we're talking about handling like we did in the last video, your high sidewall tires aren't going to be as good for that. So if you're looking to maximize fuel economy or a luxurious soft ride, should you run out and go get some small wheels and high sidewall tires? Probably not. So uh, chances are your original manufacturer fit wheels that will uh, just fit over the brakes. So in some cases, you may literally not even be able to downsize the tires or the wheels rather, uh, because they're not even going to fit over the brakes on your car. Uh, some cases that might not be true, but uh, generally you don't want to go smaller than whatever the manufacturer originally put on there. So you might be thinking, but David, if smaller wheels give such better ride quality, why do I see all these big 18 and 19 inch wheels on luxury cars like Mercedes and Lexus? The answer, they're popular. Honestly, they're not necessarily better. It's simply because people like the way they look and it's the current trend. It's the same idea that we discussed in the last video where people just kind of put on bigger wheels because they think they look good. And you know, if that's what you want and that's what's important, that's fine. But it doesn't mean it's actually a better ride quality for a luxury vehicle. And as far as things like, you know, replacement costs, if you hit a pothole or something like that, they're assuming that their target market probably doesn't care that much about that. The other reason you see really big wheels on luxury vehicles a lot of times are because they're trying to have kind of a split personality. So on one hand, they're trying to be a comfortable car and they're also trying to be a performance car. So that's something that's really uh, common nowadays, even more so than it was in the past. And that's a lot of times why you'll see these types of things. And they market the whole performance and luxury balance idea. So hopefully you found this video as helpful as the last one. I got a lot of positive feedback as well as questions on that. And I wanted to try and address some of those questions in this video. So if you're looking to maximize fuel economy or have a soft, relaxed ride, you might want to go for a smaller wheel rather than a big one. Thanks for watching.